What would a 40 hour DoorDash week look like if you treated it like a nine to five taking every single order sent to your phone? Would you even make minimum wage? Here is every single order that I took. Holy sh where do I start? DoorDash pays you two to six dollars for every order that you deliver depending on the mileage plus tips. There is no way to tip after delivery so what you see is what you get. My first morning was good and the first few orders I delivered were decent paying over one dollar per mile for pretty much every order. 12.25 very first offer for seven miles that's actually good. It was pouring down rain, so there was $2.50 peak pay for every order that I delivered until 11 a.m., making almost pretty much everything worth it. How is it raining this hard? Uh, I didn't really need to prove that. How is it raining this damn hard, and yet I'm not getting anything, dog? Bruh. It seemed like as soon as the peak pay was gone, though, it started to go downhill. Guys, I must have got too cocky because I was doing really well. I'm at $47 for two hours, which is very good. And then it sends me to this abomination of a hole known as Wendy's. And it also stacks me with an Applebee's that is equally as bad. So neither of these orders are even a dollar per mile. And it's pouring down in the rain. So honestly, both these customers can suck on both of my testicles. But I'm stuck here waiting in the drive through They're very backed up. I have some time here to reflect and think about the choices and decisions that I do make in my life. Like, taking every order. When you're accepting offers that aren't even $1 per mile, you're essentially making no money. There's no compensation for mileage, and oftentimes you have to drive the full mileage back. So that means an order like this might actually be 15 miles for $5.50, or only about $0.35 cents per mile. This is probably the worst order I've had to pick up today. It's actually pretty awful, but at least the mileage isn't far, so it's not gonna take me long to drop off. I thought this was going to be the worst order of the day, but it wasn't. This one, what? This one was. $2.50 for a four mile drive from the slowest restaurant in town in the rain. I can't make this shit up, bro. I think you're starting to get how this video is going. Bro, they just keep getting worse. They keep getting worse. Tuesday, I made $139.50 in nine hours. Oh, that's so bad. Thursday was my next day and it's more or less the same. I mean, it is $5, so it's cheap ass mother bitches. So Google Maps seems to think I'm here and obviously I'm not gonna say what the house number is that I'm looking for, but I can promise you that it's nowhere close to any of these houses. I know that I'm actually not here for a moment. All right, let me try to contact him. Our support agent wants to leave a smile on my face and their name is Jasteep. So I said, thank you, Jasteep. What a beautiful thing to say. Maybe I could hook up this Indian MILF. Oh, I think this older gentleman over here is a dasher. You know, I respect, it. I respect his hustle. Man, this is a pretty nice house for a $2 tip, I'd say. Starting off with some mediocre orders at best and then boom, right in my face. Walmart going 16 miles into a side of town that frankly, I don't want to ever visit. Bro, I'm really out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. So I got very curious. So this is going 16 miles and I'm like, what the hell could they possibly order in this tiny little bag 16 miles? So I started to feel the bag, fondle the bag up a little bit. And then I realized I'm almost 95% sure this is just two bags of fucking chips. Is A, is there no gas station nearby? B, is there not a closer Walmart? C, is there no other snacks you have in the house? Make it make sense to me, dog. I should eat your fucking chips. <laughs> Use them as a fucking pillow while I sleep in your driveway. <laughs> I paused my dash as soon as this was over and drove the full 16 miles back. It's always the worst orders that pay the least that take me to the poorest towns in the Dayton area. I stuck to Springboro, Ohio with a median household income of over 120,000 a year. And I was hoping that that would attract less no tip orders, but nah, they're like roaches. All right guys, next two orders. One is really bad. One's actually pretty good, but uh, the bad one <laughs> is not very good at all. But let's go just drop it off, get it over with. The Thai silver spoon that tipped me 63 cents in the app also tipped me $5 in cash, which was cool. Hello, got an order here. There's that for you. Thank you, I do appreciate that a lot. 
Thursday, I made $72 in seven hours, which is honestly so laughable. Of course, Friday started off very similar. My first order was delivering Subway to a big fat Brad. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Um, it's actually already paid for, and they said, it's looking, yeah, it's for a big fat Brad, is what he told me to call him. <laughs> Have a great day. Them ladies loved it. And I really tried to be optimistic. I was getting discouraged by the numbers, knowing how little I was actually making, but I had to stick it out for science. Some people say the higher your acceptance rate is, the better orders you get, but nobody has a good sample size. I actually think that's baloney. As soon as I get some good paying offers, I get hit in the face with this, bro. Delivering someone's entire grocery list, three miles, for 275, dog, 275. Let's do it, baby, let's go. Is this some sort of joke? A few orders later, and again, delivering someone's grocery list for $2.25. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Just looking at my face, you can tell I'm getting in a bit of a pissy mood. I think my underwear is soiled, and I know I chose to accept the order, so I shouldn't complain about it, but science. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping they, uh, you know, included a box of condoms for as much as I'm getting f***ed in the ass. What am I going to do with all this money? I mean, I better not spend it all in one place. I might be able to, like, almost buy a lunch. Maybe. Not quite. Maybe a Wendy's four for four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bruh. And to add to me being even more upset, a huge scary spider attempted to murder me. Fuck! What the fuck? Get the fuck away from me! Alright guys, back on the place I was born, Wendy's. I have another order here, second of the week. Um, this is a different Wendy's though, and I've heard rumors that their lobby is open. Now I'm not sure where I heard that from, but uh, let's go see if that's legit. That could be a game changer for Wendy's. It's a Wendy's miracle! So guys, that Wendy's order just has me scratching my head. I'm, I'm a little flabbergasted. I get inside and tell them I have a pickup for DoorDash. It took her a few minutes to ask her manager to realize what a DoorDash order was. And I guess my customer ordered spicy chicken nuggets, so on the receipt it said they wanted spicy chicken nuggets with ranch sauce, and then after that it said no sauce. She asked me, what do you want me to do about the sauce? Maybe I'm kind of an asshole, but I thought it was very clear they wanted ranch, so I said, uh, yeah, they they want ranch and then she asked me do you need a fork and I was like well Did they get anything they need a fork with and she said I don't know I was just asking so I said well if there's something that they need a fork for then yeah You can give them a fork and then she said well, we don't have any forks up here <laughs> And then she shuts the bag and gives it to me dog <laughs> Why ask? What if I would have said yes, my customer needs a fork, Bro, I'm just flabbergasted Sometimes I forget people aren't just NPCs Bro, I just got a White Castle, $7 for 11 miles. How in the world am I gonna deal with this traffic, bro? And I gotta turn back around on get back on the interstate just to get a White Castle. After taking 15 minutes just to get turned back around with the traffic being as crazy as it was, I went to White Castle for $7 for 11 miles. Are you kidding me? Hey, Craven White Castle, I can play your Craven Mike. Yeah, um, Tony Shu is holding me against my will, so I'm here to pick up a DoorDash order for Tyree. I ain't gonna pour him. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you. The pizza. Bro handed me a whole ass toy house kit. Alrighty guys, as you can see here, we're delivering just a single bottle of ranch, uh, about 8.6 miles. Okay, okay, you caught me in my lie. Friday, I really feel like I gave it my all and I was almost always on an order and I made nothing in return. I worked eight and a half hours and I only made $126. On a normal Friday night, I could work half the amount of hours and make the exact same amount. So this just goes to show how much you really get screwed. Alrighty guys, Saturday, I can't win, I can't win, but it's Saturday, very first order, $2.25. I really don't know why I'm so damn unlucky. Thank you, thank you, Caleb. 
I'm literally getting paid two fucking dollars to deliver somebody their food with my own car. If that's not a joke to you, bro, I don't know what is. Saturday, I was hoping it would be better. I was really praying that I would have a good day, but it wasn't. Well, isn't this convenient? I hear you, buddy. I hear you. I know, I know. I know. The morning was okay at the start, but it seemed like I had a streak of orders that just wanted me to fail. $9.25 for 10 miles, $5 for 6 miles, $7.75 for 10 miles, $3.75 for 8 miles, and $6 for 11 miles. And the list goes on. Another thing to note too is a lot of these orders where they don't tip, they seem to all have something in common. I refer to this as pussy-itis. Now pussy-itis is the technical term for being a big scared pussy. This occurs when a customer places an order and they manually go out of their way to remove the tip, but then either request a contactless delivery because they're in shambles, or oftentimes they have their children answer the door. Obviously, there's going to be no guilt involved if your innocent child answers the door instead of a grown man who can't give a few bucks for me driving 11 miles. If you were a loved one was diagnosed with pussy-itis, all you can do is laugh it off. It's all right. I don't think they running at my pace. Jordan won it. Alrighty guys, it's the very last day of my week and I'm just ready to get this shit over with. But on my very first order, there's a dollar peak pay right now until 11, but my very first order, uh, $9 for 10 miles, absolutely terrible. The worst part is that the address for this customer is only about a mile from a McDonald's, but they chose to route it from the possible, the farthest possible McDonald's that they could. So instead of this being maybe a two mile order, they turned it into a 10 mile order for absolutely no reason. And and now the customer's gonna get colder food and I have to drive further. So really, really, really stupid. But let's go do it. Let's just get it over with. <laughs> I'm not gonna sound like a broken record, so I'm gonna cut the chase, but Sunday was not anything special. Every single day this week was bad. The highlight of my day on Sunday was a customer who wanted to smoke some substance with me, uh, but unfortunately I did have to decline because I was working. Um, but had I not been making this video, however, other actions may have taken place on this day. 83 orders later and my week was finally over. A full-time week taking every single order. I made $610.18, which includes $10 in cash tips. Obviously, it costs money to drive your car. Gas is at an all-time high, and eventually things like brakes and tires go out. I mean, I just bought new tires, and it was $1,000. Because of this, we have to realize I didn't actually make $610.18, because I drove so many damn miles, I actually only made $459.71. And after taxes, I actually only took took home $397.62, which means this is an hourly rate of just under $10 an hour. I was constantly on deliveries the entire time and dealt with generally more impatient customers. With millions of DoorDash drivers, there are only a few percent that will ever go on YouTube or Reddit or Facebook or whatever and see people talking about how you lose money making these deliveries. The majority do actually take these orders that give up all their rights as an independent contractor and treat this like a 9 to 5. There is no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Don't take orders where the customer doesn't tip beforehand because out of my 83 orders, 16 of my customers did not tip, which is that's 20% of my customers did not tip even a single penny. And out of those 16 people, not a single person gave me cash. I got two cash tips from the customer who already tipped me in the app. But yes, there's not a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So at the end of the day, if this video could reach a few people who are wasting their time doing these non-profitable deliveries, then this video has served its purpose. I'm not one to tell someone how to run their business, but if you have to choose a company, a big corporation to sell your soul for, you better pick your poison.